The cutaneous upper lip is a relatively small cosmetic subunit of the face, being bordered by the nose superiorly, the nasolabial folds laterally, and the vermilion upper lip inferiorly. Treating skin cancers here may be difficult due to the potential to distort the nasolabial folds and upper lip. With large lesions, it may be necessary to repair the excision defect with a full thickness skin graft. However, a skin graft in this area may not have a desirable cosmetic outcome. Here we have an 89 year old man with a basal cell cancer of his right upper cutaneous lip. Under local anaesthetic, we will excise the tumour. We will then raise an advancement flap, undermining this above the muscle and achieving very careful hemostasis. In order to recruit a bit more skin to close the defect, an incision was made around the right nostril and this was undermined to allow tissue to come down superiorly into the defect. The wound was then sutured with deep dissolvable sutures and a continuous running suture. During a procedure such as this, it is important not to distort the philtrum, which is a particularly prominent feature in the lips of younger people, though with age does tend to flatten out. Following suturing, the wound had come together well and cosmetically the wound looks quite good. Suture lines were hidden in the nasolabial crease and then below the nose and around the right nostril. The wound healed well and there is quite an acceptable cosmetic outcome. The upper lip has not been distorted and the philtrum is in the correct position. There has been some movement of the right nasolabial crease, so the patient was quite happy with the outcome. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful or if there's an area you'd like covered, then please leave a comment. Thank you.